In this episode of Sailing Doodles, we get rid of some stowaways and we sail across the north coast of Australia. It was 1,200 miles through the Strait of Torres from Papua New Guinea with a quick stop in Australia to Salamlaki, Indonesia. It would be more than two months before we could stop in a marina again, so we decided to give the boat a good scrub. We hadn't seen the boat look this white in a long time. We had a bit of a bug problem for a while, roaches and weevils. We had a exterminator come out in Fiji and we've taken care of the problem, but we had a lot of pasta that got into and went bad. Yeah, y'all don't want to, ooh, y'all don't want to see that. Just y'all. This is weevil Knievel. Roach poop. It's weevil Knievel. See all this? See all these bugs? All these bugs on Bobby's beloved spam. Oh, it's so ah. gross, they're everywhere. Oh, it's so gross. It's, it's literally like green. It's full of poop too. Look, there's one still alive. <laughs> He's going to the dump. Okay, we are getting ready to leave Papua New Guinea right now. It was surprisingly not as bad as we thought. It was uh, great. They had the, literally the best grocery stores since the United States. Uh, and there's a nice shopping mall. Um, hotel what time? Yeah, we got we stayed in a hotel for a couple nights, so. Oh, we're about to cast off the lines, get out of here. We had about 17 to 20 knots of wind, so the Genoa was all we needed. I'm sweating. The next morning, Daniela was super excited to see a pod of dolphins. I'm not gonna do that because she might come back up here and freak out and jump backwards out. So I'm gonna hold it for a minute and ask her to get something downstairs for me. That's crazy. It had to been like a python or something. I got washed up a lot. That thing was way too bad. It was like seriously like my arm. It was. It was, and it was just like in a C shape, like it was dead. Like all. Oh. Want you grab a beer to celebrate? No, I just told you I was afraid of sea snakes on my night shift. That they, all these fish and squid washing up, there's gonna be sea snake, and then I see one. Grab a beer, celebrating uh... You should feel my heart rate right now. We're going to help. Grab a beer, grab me one like that. It's a blood thinner. Please, it'll be good. I don't know if I can handle snakes just being anywhere. What's that? I don't think I can just handle them just being anywhere, like everywhere I go. What are you afraid of? There's snakes now everywhere I go. Trash the other day on the beach. I was like, ah! What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> did you get that or did Lisa get that? I got it. <laughs> I'm gonna shake your. <laughs> 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 
Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> it's totally yours. Oh, I don't even want to touch that. The green ones are poisonous here, Bobby. That's not even funny. Did you get that from the nature part? Yeah. Should have known. Why is Bobby in the gift shop? Seriously, so it wasn't, my heart wasn't tacky. It's SPT now. I, I don't even want it to be near it. <laughs> two days into our sail to Indonesia, and this is actually all Australia. We anchored here to do some minor repairs on our boat. Um, the uh, propane system is not coming on. There's an electric solenoid. I'll show you. This guy right here. That's an electric solenoid that you turn off and on on our electrical panel. Well, it's also hooked up to a sensor, like a gas sensor, um, and that sensor is malfunctioned. There's no gas leak. It just, it's gotten wet a few times and so now it's malfunctioning. It's not allowing us to turn on our propane so we can't cook or anything. So I'm just basically going to disconnect that solenoid and just hook the valve, the, the regulator straight into the line and then you just turn it off and on using the bottle. Problem solved. Well, I really wish we had time to hang out here. It's the Thursday Islands in northern Australia. It's beautiful, you know, turquoise water. You've, we're sailing on the wind, leeward side of the island, so it's just, I mean, there's no waves and we're doing six, eight knots. You know, with the current, we're actually doing 10 or 11, but it reminded me of the Bahamas for sure. The Exumas, just smooth, sailing in smooth water. It's a lot different right now. Yeah, it's a nice. lot different. But I'll take it while we can. days in Indonesia we're looking at 10 to 15 knots of wind and no more than three foot seas. I can't even that's just that's a walk in the park right there downwind 12 12 knots put the spinnaker out and three foot seas or two two foot seas oh forget about it not long after we set sail again we got buzzed by an Australian Coast Guard airplane and they wanted to talk to us on the radio no big deal though, we just kept on sailing. Thank you so much for watching. This channel is made possible by our patrons.